In this video, I'm going to show you how to take your ChatGPT prompts to the next level. And to help us out, I'm going to be walking through how to use Prompt Toolbox. If you are just starting on your prompt engineering journey, you might want to browse around and see how other people are using ChatGPT. To the left, we have this week's popular prompts. The most common ones are to help people generate code better, or maybe to help them with a YouTube video. There's also a lot for generating mid-journey prompts or stable diffusion prompts. In the middle, we have the latest prompts. This is where you'll find what people are working on today. If they have an F, that stands for fork. So if you find a prompt that you like and you want to make it your own, you can find fork in the top right corner. If you already have an idea of what kind of prompt you're looking for, you could use the search box. So if I was to look for the prompt sandwich template, I can simply type in sandwich and there it is right there. Next, I want to show you how to save a prompt. To do this, we go create prompt, give it a name. I'm going to call this one presentation. Decide whether or not it's private. Maybe it's got like an API key or some sensitive information. This one doesn't. Then click create. Then we're going to go to the prompt builder and simply paste our prompt here. To rename the prompt, simply click on the form editor and you can rename it from the top. Just click update. You can jump to your prompt by clicking the name link. Now comes the fun part. There's two ways to get this prompt into ChatGPT. We can either use the auto prompt fill extension or click copy and paste it into ChatGPT as so. Next, I'm going to show you how to take this basic prompt and turn it into a template where you can dynamically change the topic. To do this, we click edit and we make a new form. And this one's going to be called topic. If your topic is only a single line, you can leave it as text. But if you plan on using multiple lines, then you might want to change this to text area. Currently, the rest of them don't work. Next, we have placeholder, which is where you can put some default text that might help you come up with a topic. There's also a description, which again can help you fill out the form. The default value is useful if you plan on using the same value most of the time, but would like the freedom to change it. Then click add. Your form field will be shown here. Now we want to take this value and add it to the prompt by clicking Prompt Builder. Next, we want to find the part that will change, delete it, and replace it with this topic tag and hit save. Now, when we go to the form, we will have a field where we can simply replace it with whatever we want and click Generate Prompts. And the tag will be replaced with whatever we have put in the field. You also might notice that a history tab has shown up down the bottom. You can click on this to quickly go back to something you have typed in the past. A useful thing you can do is add more prompts, perhaps follow on prompts, perhaps prompts you've tried before to the same page by clicking edit prompt and simply adding more underneath. You can add as many as you like and also change the order and then click save. I mentioned it earlier, but if you would like to get this autofill button, which automatically populates ChatGPT with the prompt. You can find it by clicking on this auto prompt fill link and then simply adding to Chrome. If you are interested in getting more out of ChatGPT and prompt engineering, then be sure to like and subscribe and look out for our future videos.